Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of square root of 200. This is equal to a to the power of a. So what is the value of a? Now, let's provide a solution from here. So we have a to the power of a. This is equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. Now, we can express the square root of 200. The square root of 200. This is the same thing as the square root of 2 multiplied by 100. So we have a to the power of a. This is equal to 2 to the power of square root of 2 multiplied by 100. Now, square root of 2 times 100. This is in the form of square root of a multiplied by b which you can express as a single square root of a multiplied by square root of b. Now, applying this property, then we have a to the power of a. This is equal to 2 to the power of square root of 2 times square root of 100. And this implies that here we have 2 to the power of square root of 2 times square root of 100, which is equal to 10. So we have that a to the power of a, this is equal to 2 to the power of 10, square root of 2. All right? The next step is that, given that the square root of a to the power of 2, this essentially is the same thing as a. So we can express 2, remember 2 is the same thing as the square root of 2 to the power of 2, this is the same thing as 2. So we can substitute 2 with the square root of 2 to the power of 2. And this implies that we have a to the power of a, this is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 2, then this to the power of 10 multiplied by square root of 2. Now, the next step is that the square root of 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 10 times square root of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. Applying this property, then we have a to the power of a. This is equal to square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 10 square root of 2. And this implies that here we have the square root of 2 raised to the power of 10 times 2, which is 20, square root of 2. Now we have a to the power of a. This is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 20, square root of 2. We can express 20. This is the same thing as 4 multiplied by 5. So a to the power of a, this is equal to square root of 2 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by square root of 2. So square root of 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 5 square root of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n multiplied by m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Let's apply this exponent property so that we have a to the power of a, this is equal to square root of 2, this to the power of 5, then this to the power of 4, multiplied by square root of 2. Now, here we have the square root of 2 to the power of 5. Square root of 2 to the power of 5. This is the same thing as square root of 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2, times square root of 2, multiplied by square root of 2. So square root of 2 times square root of 2, this is square root of 2 to the power of 2, times square root of 2 times square root of 2, this is square root of 2 to the power of 2, then times square root of 2. So essentially, here we can eliminate the square root sign, so this is 2, times, we can eliminate the square root sign here, so times 2, then multiplying by square root of 2. 
So this is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, then square root of 2. So we have that square root of 2 raised to the power of 5. This is the same thing as 4 square root of 2. So we can substitute this with 4 square root of 2. So we have a to the power of a. This is equal to 4 square root of 2 raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. Now it's clear that if we check the base here, is the same thing as the exponent, and the base a is the same thing as the exponent. So this concludes that the value of a is equal to 4 square root of 2. So this is the value of a. The next step is to verify that this value of a here satisfies the equation by following these steps. Now let's verify that this value of a, which is 4 square root of 2, satisfies the equation. If you recall, we have that a to the power of a, this is equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. So if a is 4 square root of 2, raised to the power of 4 square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2, this is supposed to be equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. Now, we can express 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. And we can express square root of 2, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of a half. So substituting this, then we have 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of a half. This is raised to the power of 4, multiplying by square root of 2. This is supposed to be equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. Okay. 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of a half. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 2 plus a half. This is supposed to be equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. Now, we have that here. This is 2 to the power of 2 is a whole number, so this is over 1. The LCM here is 2. So 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 2. This is 4. Plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 1. This is 1. Remember, this is raised to the power of 4 multiplied by square root of 2. This is supposed to be equal to 2 raised to the power of square root of 200. So here we have 2 to the power of 4 plus 1. This is 5 over 2 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by square root of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 2 to the power of 200. 2 raised to the power of 5 over 2 raised to the power of 4 square root of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. So we have 2 to the power of 5 over 2 multiplied by 4 square root of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 2 to the power of square root of 200. So let's simplify here. 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So that we have 2 to the power of 5 times 2, this is 10, square root of 2. This should be equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. We have that 2 to the power of 10, multiplied by square root of 2. This should give us a value of 2 to the power of square root of 200. Now, we have that the square root of 100, this is the same thing as... 10. So we can substitute 10 with square root of 100 so that we have 2 to the power of square root of 100 times square root of 2. This is supposed to be equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. So we have that the square root of 100 
times square root of 2. This is in the form of square root of a times square root of b, which can be expressed as the square root of a times b. So we have 2 raised to the power of square root of 100 multiplied by 2. This should be equal to the square root of 2 to the power of square root of 200. And it's clear that here we have 2 to the power of square root of 100 times 2, which is 200. And this is equal to 2 to the power of square root of 200. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this confirms that the value of a, which is equal to 4, multiplying by square root of 2, actually satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.